So I've got a bit of a confession to make. I, you know, I like to give this sort of like devil may care. Look at me, I'm brilliant. This is so effortless. But uh, I kind of have to work quite hard at that act. And one of the things I'm a bit of a junkie for, to say the least, is uh, high performance technology. I mean, I've just inhaled books by Tim Ferriss and I've been a fan of Anthony Robbins since forever. Um, I love Jocko Willink, my terrestrial higher power, the discipline, th um, freedom equals... Discipline equals freedom, guy. Um, uh, you know, way back to people like Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, you know, doing all these, I mean, having discipline and sort of like using personal transformation technology has been a lot easier since I've been in recovery. Um, it was a bit of a joke when I tried it in active addiction. But um, but it's, it's something I've always had an interest in. And someone whose opinion I trust and respect a lot, uh, advised me to have a look at a book by a guy called Brendan Bouchard, B-O-U-C-H-A-R-D. If you go to brendonwithano.com. And I looked at this guy and I was like, oh, because he kind of like, he looks like to, to, to high performance coaching what Joel Osteen is to Christianity. I mean, if you were going to cast someone with a sort of like, you know, you know, if you were going to cast someone, this he kind of looks like the, the guy you'd cast. But I started listening to him, and the guy's really good. And um, I bought his book, went online, did some of his assessment, and his whole thing, and I'm only like halfway through the first chapter, but he's, it's all about habits. Um, and again, that really that resonated with me, because I remember reading The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which is still an absolute classic. Um, and that guy said the same thing. It's, you know, to be a success in life, it's, it's not about who you are, the talent you've got, the connections that you've got. It's, it's about what you do. It's really about what you do and what you do on a consistent basis. And what you do on a consistent basis is a habit. And he's identified six areas um, where you need good habits. And it, anyway, so I did this self-assessment quiz. And the areas are, number one, clarity, knowing what you're about what your skills are, probably a sense of humility. Uh, and I scored quite highly on that. I'm going to buzz through this because I don't want to keep these videos going any more than sort of two or three minutes. Uh, energy levels. Yeah, not so good with me. You see, I'm a high energy person in the mornings. I can get up any time between 4.30 a.m. And, and 6. <clears throat> and I like to start writing really fast, power through the mornings, hit lunch, and then a nice nap in the afternoon. When I say nap, that could be anything from 20 minutes to two or three hours. And then in the evenings, I don't like doing client work. I sort of do my, that's kind of when I do my own work. But really and truly, I, I, it would be better if I, took, if, I, if I watched what I ate a little bit more. I would have more energy and I probably wouldn't have to sleep for so long. So that's, that's an area of growth for me. Then he talks about necessity, which is an interesting thing, which is, you know, the idea of having a sense of what's really important in your life and, and why you do the things that you do, making sure that you've got clear values. Um, and I, I, yeah, I did quite well with that. The one that sort of surprised me, which I didn't actually do that well for, was, was productivity. But I ranked that against, the, against my own work, not my client work, because having worked 30 years in agencies... I'm really good at getting shit done very, very quickly, right? I mean, not only working in agencies, working in agencies in Asia, where, you know, you can get, you have to come up with a campaign within 24 hours or 12 hours sometimes. That's, trust me, I remember in Hong Kong, we got a brief at midnight for a campaign for Hong Kong Telecom, which had to be presented at nine o'clock the next morning. So obviously that's an extreme case, but... You had to make rabbits come out of ha ha you had to make rabbits come out of hats pretty quickly, and I've got good at doing that. So when I've got a treatment, I can get my head straight into it, and I can be real hyper focused and power through it quickly. But when it's my own work, when I don't have a deadline, that's when you know it's the old thing, sort of like work expands according to the time <coughs> the time there is to accomplish it. Then there's influence, which is good. It's the people you know. It's where you are in your industry. It's your standing. It's where you are in the dominance hierarchy. And I did well with that. 30 years, connections. I travel a lot. I've got great contacts. I've got a very powerful network. And one other one, 
is courage, which is an interesting one. And, you know, I'd like to, you know, I obviously have this view of myself that I'm sort of like, you know, a lion heart. But I'm not. I hate going out of my comfort zone. I really, really do. I like doing the things that I'm really good at. And if I'm not good at doing something, I don't like it because then I have to look vulnerable and stupid and, and, and I hate it. So that's, that's another area of growth. So that's where I am. Brandon Bouchard, great guy. Check out his website. Watch some of his videos and maybe the books for you as well. Bye.